COVID-19 brought the future to the present and that future is digital. It is your responsibility to anticipate and to prepare to stay relevant and valuable. We all need a basic understanding of the complexity of the digital world we're living in. Therefore, it is important for everyone to be digitally ready and to have basic digital skills to enjoy a greater convenience and participate meaningfully in a digital society. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Nikki Verd. I am a keynote speaker and a voice for those who yearn to upskill, innovate, disrupt the status quo and recreate themselves in a world that's fast changing. I am also the author of the best-selling book, Disrupt Yourself or Be Disrupted. Hit the subscribe button below as we go along and give this video a thumb up if you enjoy this type of content. It is important that you take learning into your own hands. The shift from a traditional ways to a more digitally focused environment is as clear as crystal. From going paperless to self-service technologies, from contactless payment to data analysis and much more. The future indeed is in the now and the importance of digital skills cannot be overemphasized. Digital skills are usually divided into two segments, basic digital skills and advanced digital skills. Basic digital skills refer to, you know, things that are needed in the day-to-day -day professional or personal context. These skills can help improve efficiency in your career and can be beneficial for everyday people, you know, going about their everyday life on the internet. And these basic digital skills to learn are, number one, it's what's called basic digital communication skills. This refers to the fun, uh, fundamentals of being able to use digital technologies, such as using a browser, connecting to the internet, keeping your password secured. You know, online communication involves creating an email address, sending emails securely on the internet, using attachments as well as participating on social media. It is all about learning how to serve the internet and, and communicate using online popular e-communication platforms such as Gmail, maybe Facebook, maybe WhatsApp, and many more. You know, because it is, you know, common to many of us, we may assume that everyone know how to use these things, but the reality is that there are still so many people in the world without even an email address, not to even mention them, you know, being on social media. So these are still vital skills for such people to learn and for a lot of people to learn. The second type of skill set is basic digital content and information skills. This refers to using search engines to get information online, being aware that all online content is not reliable. Uh, we're going to talk more about cybersecurity in the next point, but it's about you need to learn how to, you know, even type your own CV or rather than paying someone to type your CV, because if you're paying someone to type your CV, and what kind of a job will you get if you can't really use a computer unless maybe you're doing consulting and some sort of coaching, you know, around your CV. There are a lot of people with laptops that only kind of play games with it uh, and watch movies on it. They do not understand softwares, even as like Microsoft Office. They don't understand how to use uh, Microsoft Word or PowerPoint or um, Microsoft Excel spreadsheet and things like that. So uh, if you have a laptop, you should make it a point to learn some of these softwares, you know, make it a point to learn how to use these application applications like, you know, Zoom meetings or, or office teams. Uh, learn how to have these online meetings. So these are vital skills that are really needed in today's era. Uh, it might look like this um, uh, uh, a misconception that everyone knows how to do this, but not really everyone knows how to do this. So if you don't know, you can go online and learn how to do these things um, easily with, with maybe just one video on YouTube and you'll be able to, to find your way around that. One of the best ways to learn in um, a software like Microsoft Office is to go right to the source, you know, the Office 365 Training Center provides different options depending on your needs. You can watch video 
training tutorials for Office 365, or you can select specific uh, Microsoft Office applications like Word or Excel or Access or whatever it is, and it's all free. You can learn them online. The third point is, you know, basic social media skills. Seeing so many people use social media, I feel that this skill should be a standalone skill on its own because the ability to understand and utilize social media efficiently is a core skill that everyone should have, uh, whether you're a beginner or not. Uh, social media, you know, has invaded the fabric of every society and is becoming the primary source of communication and information uh, between friends and families and even organizations. You know, companies hardly employ anyone these days without checking them out on social media. So learn about the best practices to use on social media. Learn what to share on your social media and what not to share. There is indeed such a thing as oversharing, you know, that can lead to you sabotaging yourself. So don't assume you know how to use social media simply because you, you, you have the, the app downloaded on your, on your phone. Learn the do's and the don'ts of social media. In fact, when you finish watching this video, go on Google and type do's and don'ts of social media and you'll be pleasantly surprised. Fourth one is basic digital transaction skills. This involves setting online accounts to purchase goods and services online using different secure payment methods as well as maybe filing online forms, you know. This is about learning how to use digital tools in uh, online websites, maybe banking apps or e-payments. Learn how to use the online services, mobile banking and e-payment apps provided by major banks, you know. This also involves learning how to use education e-services or government e-services because as queues are reducing and many people are doing banking on their phones, so also will queues reduce at government offices and even at school campuses, you know, because these services are being digitized. Right now, you don't necessarily have to go to the school premises or the university campus to apply for admission or to pay school fees. There's no need for anyone to die because of stampede, you know. So a lot of progress or a lot of, sorry, a lot of processes are being digitized. And so take learning into your own hands. With just one Google search, you can learn some of these things. Instead of avoiding online shopping, rather learn how to shop safely online. In fact, go on Google again and type how to shop safely online and you'll be pleasantly surprised. 10, 20 minutes of your time and you'll be equipped. You will have a skill rather than running away from online activities. Learn. The last one and certainly not the least is cybersecurity or online security or whatever you might choose to call it. And this refers to understanding the best practices in online data storage, sharing of information, updating and keeping your passwords secure and taking precautions against viruses. You know, it is about learning how to stay safe while you are online, as well as learning how to discern, you know, fake news and fake activities to protect yourself and your loved ones. You can also learn about, you know, cyber terrors, cyber bullying, and cyber attacks and love scam. You know, there are horrifying stories of people that have been scammed online in the name of love. <laughs> if you know one of those stories, share with us in the comment section below. I would like to know more. And so these are the five main areas of digital skills for beginners to actually start learning. And so on the next video, I'm going to share more advanced digital skills that people should try to acquire. And so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you want more tips for staying relevant in the digital world, check out my book, Disrupt Yourself or Be Disrupted. It is available on my website and it's available on Amazon as well. I will share the links in the description below. And for those of you in South Africa, you can get the book at any exclusive books or bargain books nationwide. And thank you for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video.